right, the great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses all of her powers of engineering to show you how to search for things on DigiKey.com. Thank you, DigiKey. What is the great search this week, Lady Ada? Okay, so this week we're doing a UFL connector. So let's go to the overhead real fast and I'll show it off because it's, it's mm -hmm. small. Um, so for this design, uh, you know, I have a version that has a little mini uh, 2.4 gigahertz antenna. It's a very small antenna. Uh, and it's you know it's okay like they're these are these are really uh, cute little antennas from uh, Johansson, but um, if you want a bigger antenna, you can always go with the UFL connector. Now there's not space for both, but I can make two versions of the board, um, one of each. So this version has a UFL connector, and UFL connectors are or you know I think technically they're micro FL. I think the U is micro, but I, I call them UFLs. Um, so these are a standard. Uh, connector type. Uh, this is what the bottom looks like. And then on the top, it's got this little ring and inside is the center. And these are, these are really good for, I think up to six gigahertz. Um, they're extremely small. They're extremely common. They're good for like, maybe like 50 up to 50, like 10 to 50, uh, weak connections. Now you're not meant to like unplug and plug them, but you, you can do like 50, um, reconnects with them. And then you, know, you can get, uh, like this is a little antenna that has a UFL connector already on it. Um, there's also UFL to SMA connectors. Maybe I'll, I'll try to find those as well. But these are, these are really common and, and they're, they're well understood. Like when you see these people are like, oh, I know what that is. That's an RF connector. Um, uh, so you'll see these a lot on dev boards. We use them a lot on dev boards, but you'll also see them on other dev boards. And also sometimes you'll see modules that have UFL connectors. Um, that said, they don't have um, strain relief. So, you know, one of the things you have to watch out for is if you do use them, unlike SMA where there's like a screw type things in and, you know, you can, you can uh, keep it from yanking out. There's really, these parts, you can snap the antenna in and it is a little bit, um, you know, it, it's a little bit solid and it turn, it, you know, it can twist, but yeah, they pop out pretty easily too. So just just keep that in mind um, that if you want to have something with UFL, like it, it can rip off fairly easily. You know, it's not a through hole connector. It's purely SMT. Okay, so let's go to, just again, I'll show you. There's a lot of options available. Um, so yeah, they're called UFL, so small UFL connector, and they're going to be under RF. Um, Connectors. Oh, you know what? I think you have to do U.FL. That's the technical name for them. I Again, I usually leave the dot out, but usually it, you normally would. Um, so you can see there's connectors and cable assemblies. Um, well, let's just check out cable assemblies really fast so you can see. Um, you, know, you can get UFL to like anything adapters. So that's, that's another thing. Oftentimes you don't have space for like MMCX or SMA or whatever, um, but you can get you know, connectors of adapters of all sorts. So you see these are very standard. Um, you see pigtails, so you can connect your own things. Um, UFL to UFL, so um, quite nice. I guess they're sometimes called UMCC as well. That's another name for them. So um, if you do want to make a, get an adapter, uh, check out here, and then you can um, pick, you know, B and C, you know, if you want uh, for the other side. Okay, great, so uh, that said, Back at connectors, um, we can see that, you know, these are actually kind of like immediately it pops up. So um, I don't think this is, yeah, I guess this is a through hole version, which I've, which I've never seen before. Um, but you want, you know, UFL series. So let's look for active, um, you know, UFL. Uh, these all look fine. I think, you know, gigahertz, you know, we want, uh, three to nine gigahertz. I will say, oh, something changed with the DigiKey search, by the way. If you um, select things now, um, it will, um, if it's not, a, if the, if it changes what's available, you'll see, like, because I selected through hole, um, a lot of the options are no longer available. So it shows you what else got filtered out. So this is new, because this wasn't here like last week, because I use DigiKey search like every week. Um, but it is nice to see, like, without having to filter, you can quickly see, like, what are you going to lose out of? So if you have multiple things that you're searching for, um, that can help. So let's do the surface mount. 
and yeah, lots of options. So, you know, you can sort by price. Um, these are, you know, they're pennies pretty much. Um, the first one that came up that looked fine to me was this from TE, uh, Connectivity, they make good connectors. They have, you know, 150,000 in stock. So you don't have to worry about not being able to get these. Not affected by a silicon shortage, but there are also, also um, other vendors available. Um, the only thing I'll make a note of, the last thing to, to mention uh, with UFL connectors before we get back to questions is, uh, there isn't a photo of the bottom, but let me see, I think we took a photo of the bottom. No, we didn't. So on the bottom, there's two contacts, but only one of them actually feeds through. Um, and just remember when you do your footprint for that, um, to make sure you don't accidentally get the part rotated because it looks like it's symmetric, but it's actually not. Um, on the bottom, there's only one pad that feeds into uh, the antenna input. And if you get that wrong, as, as I have before, um, you have to rework all your boards because the antenna isn't going in. So um, if you do um, use these, one of the tests you might wanna do is, is when you're doing the assembly test, because it's again, visually you can't tell that it's wrong. Um, have someone plug in an antenna and check the um, RSSI, the signal strength, to make sure that they um, didn't flip it around 180. That's, that's a um, tip for you from someone who's made this mistake before. I am. Yep. All right, any? Uh, and that's a great search. Let's do questions. So yes. let me uh, roll the outro. Where 